All right. Subnautica continues. Soon I'll beat my one day, one hours from last, uh, last year. Well, more than last year. March 2016? Hmm. That's another save file. I bet that save file's totally broken. Vinny, I'm not even jocking watching you play Subnautica as a prior priority in my life since I can't play it myself. Yeah, I mean, that's one of the things I like about streaming. I like the idea that some people just want to watch. You know, they just want to watch a game that they can't buy or they don't have access to. Um, this chatty stuff is really annoying, because, like, I want to get the highlights, but... Every time I get highlights, like, I switch to chatty. Um... But it's- it's creating, like, pop-ups. I guess I'll just turn the highlights back off. Never mind, then. What is chatty? It's like an IRC client for, um... For Twitch chat which has, like, better functionality for modding. It looks good. Well, kind of looks good. Turn highlight pop-ups off. I didn't see that option. Hang on. Maybe there's a whole tab. You know what? I'm not going to fuck with this tonight, but I I'm going to customize it more. Because FFZ, Frank or Faze Z, broke my chat. So I needed to do something. Anyway, back to Subnautica. Um, I think it might be time for a nuclear... It might be time for some, some nuclear power. Should I just replace this with nuclear power? Not gonna play Twitch today? I'm sorry? What does that mean? Fishies. Apparently, you can, um... Laugh. Laugh, you can cry. You can hurt each other, but I don't recommend it. Oh shit! Mott the Hoople is still here! Thank God, I don't want that fixed, ever. I forgot to tell you the name of the song, by the way, during the break. It's Chemical Brothers and Noel Gallagher, Let Forever Be. I definitely played that on stream in the, in the past couple, well, probably in the past six months or so. This game's a little fucky. Change game to subnut. Oh, you're right. Man, what the fuck was I doing? I was faffing during the break. I guess I didn't get a whole lot done. Let me read the definition of faffing so people know. Origin, late 18th century. Originally dialect, in the sense, blow in puffs describing the wind. Imitate, imitative. The current sense may have been influenced by a dialect faffle, stammer, stutter. The fuck? That's the worst definition ever. It just means to aimlessly waste time doing useless tasks. That's all it means. Faffin. You know, just faffin' about. Also, chat, your Discord just went off. You should check it real quick. Okay. I've got some materials here. I got another... got another bag. Um... I wonder if I can... Because last time I played this, we went late night, and I did the Aurora, which was pretty intense. 
but now I can kind of chill a bit. Doesn't feel to let forever be. Aurora miniature. This table can can hold a number of my, my. Actually, I could, you know, I could build another cool thing. Cyclops engine efficiency storage module. Um, I don't think I need Seamoth depth module at all. Should probably also heal. I got a lot to do. I, I left the last time I played this. I left myself a lot of um, things to do for a later date. Got posters. Uh, okay. Let's go to the habitat builder. And I want to see... I can build shelves. I can build a vending machine. That's priority. Okay. Vending machine is 100%... 100% priority. Um, I think I can maybe put some stuff on these shelves here. Let's Let's see. Is that possible? Yeah. Look at that. Looks pretty good. Put that there. I can put, um... Do I have any other interesting things? Well... I kind of want to put this more... back a bit. Like that. Right in the middle. That's much more centered. Uh, I could put this poster here if I wanted to. But it's going to be like... Up. What do you think, chat? Does that look like poop? Um, half the chat is saying it looks good, the other half is saying it's poop. It's clipping. Okay, then we get rid of it. Donate it, get rid of it. Yeah, if it's clipping, I don't want it there. Um, I do want... Maybe we can... Put some posters here. Right? And then I can put the other one... This, this is just... Let's say it's, it's glamour shots for the prawn suit. <gasps> can't set it down here. I think the reason I can't set it down is because of the aquarium. This room is cluttered. I mean, it has person... <clears throat> It's got personality now. Kind of. It didn't. Now it kind of does. It shows green, but it's like a weird clipping green. Look how close I have to get it to the wall locker. Maybe I'll just roll with that then. Yeah, let's roll with it. You gotta roll with it. You gotta... Take your time. Fucking prawns, man. Fucking prawns. You c you can see um, the off-centeredness of the box now. 
listen, don't think about it too hard, because it'll just, it'll just hurt if you think about it. Instead, focus on the good things. What I'm gonna do is, um, I'm going to build a vending machine. And then a nuclear reactor. Um, where could a vending machine go? Like I said, this place is kind of... Kind of cluttered. Maybe I can do something... <laughs> Sorry, this is always entertaining to me. Maybe I can do a vending machine here. Just test it out. I figure maybe like by the bed. What's, um, what's the problem? What seems to be the problem, officer? Does this have to go on a wall? You kind of can't place this. Unless you're, like, here. Just really tall. So, multi purpose room. Um, could use the mouse wheel to rotate. Yeah. Uh, speaking of cluttered. This is terrible. Rice snack, it's delicious. Fire hazard? <laughs> I think it's on it's awesome, but yeah, I ca I can't keep it there. That's stupid. Also, I can take off my radiation helmet now. The Aurora's radiation has been fixed, so I no longer need that. Um, this room is cluttered. This room is definitely cluttered and kind of dumb, but I was thinking maybe I could build... ...a thing up top. How about this? How about for now? Until I figure out what to do with this thing, I'm gonna put it here. Or not. Oh, it looks so ass. It doesn't- it just doesn't want to... ...go against the wall. Move the water purifier to another room. I see those fish. I see what they're doing. Make a snack room. You know what? I could do a snack room, but... Oh, so many people are going to hate this. But think about it. You don't have to leave your bed for snacks. This is midnight snacking on a fucking parallel dimensional level. Um, also... Got a couple of other posters. I can hide this reinforcement a bit. With a, with a nice poster. As you do. That looks cool. Coffee machine on the other side. I think the coffee machine actually has to go on the wall. That looks alright. And, um, we can also do... The Aurora is good for lots of dumb posters. I can appreciate dumb posters.
Keep calm. Okay. We'll, we'll actually go on an underwater adventure. I swear. It's gonna happen. Alright, let's figure out what I need to build nuclear power. Base needs to be powered with the best technology. Class steel, ingot, advanced wiring kit, lead times three. Class steel. So I think I've got plenty of lead. Um, I just don't have enough for class steel yet. I think uh, I'm. Oh, wait, no, I, I think I do. These fucking fish. What gives them the right? to break my immersion. Lithium times two. What's this personal shit I can build? I can build a scanner. Propulsion cannon. I have... Obviously, I have that. Um, Alright. Well... I can... I can do the lithium thing. And... Plasteel. Advanced wiring kit is next. Actually, let me deconstruct this. And get the materials from it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Advanced wiring kit is next. I always forget about it. And then it shows back up. It's like, hey, don't forget about me. So I need, um... Gold, copper wire, table coral. Table coral. Um... Gold and some copper. Should be enough materials. Yeah, rip power. I mean, and it's also nighttime too. So I need that nuclear fucking plant and, like immediately. in there. I got a lot of batteries now. You see how many fucking batteries the game gave me? Or rather, the, um, the Aurora gave me? I still didn't build the advanced wiring kit. to get some snacks. Dismantle water filter. Well, the water is actually, um, it's just there. It's not current, currently in use, as far as I'm aware, because the water has been Filled up. Like, it's all the slots are filled up, so it can't make more shit just yet. What's draining power? I don't know. It's a good question. I don't know. Let's let's take a look real quick. It's probably some kind of like alien leech sucking the electricity oh the spotlights 
Spotlights will do it. Okay. Exercise Don't think I've... When handling radioactive materials. Exposure risks corrupting your PDA's recording of the mm. circumstances of your death. <laughs> <laughs> Fish, please. Yeah, I don't think I've ever used nuclear power in this game. I just, I just don't know. Um, let's see, I need to build... What do I need to build? Nuclear rods? Um... How how do? Oh yeah, uranite crystal times three lead titanium glass. It's a pretty intense amount of materials. If you open a locker from really far away, bad things happen. I recommend it. Cool knife. Just wants to show off the knife a bit. Alright, so I need glass. I know I have glass. Just like a little bit of extra glass lying around. There's two glass. Let's see what else I need. Lead. Two lead. That's not lead. Oh, I need titanium to build waste disposal. That's it. It's always good to have an abundance of materials at your base. For just such an occasion. Okay. Pretty fucking mental amount of power. Uh. Um, well, we have a new friend, and it's infected. So I believe it's going to infect the hoop fish. Is it too early to blame the radioactivity for this? Well, soon enough my <laughs> hoop fish will have an STD. You want me, you want me, to, you want me to remove the spade fish? Right. Let's see if I manage to save the hoopfish in time. Hoopfish is good. Mot the hoople is fine. I will be cooking this fish for dinner tonight. There's 
too many batteries, man. There's just too many batteries. I don't need that many batteries. So many batteries. They need to be put away. Far away. Alright, yeah, I need the nuclear waste bin. Someone in chat said, build nuclear waste bin. I thought they wanted me to build nuclear waste and they were calling me bin. You know, like Binny? Nuclear waste bin acquired. I'm sure that fish that can float in the air like that will be totally fine with a bit of radioactivity. Just, I feel like there's, there's an unhealthy amount of sand sharks in here. Can I put sand sharks in the garbage? This seems like a good idea. Welcome aboard, Captain. <laughs> seems like a great idea. Soon enough, he'll be in the nuclear reactor room. I've got. Well, I mean, consider it security. Beware of dogfish, yeah. Um, well, I... Again, I do want to go on more underwater adventures, but I, I think... That is a loud fish. It doesn't shut the fuck up! That's going to be a lot of fun to listen to. Oh my god, I hate it. I hate it so much. Double storage, I think. Let's see. Can you do double so storage? It's just this is just regular old storage. I do have the the prawn blueprint. Yes, I think I would like to do an underwater adventure. Check the other side. Oh, under here. Oh, okay. Double storage is cool. Damn. 
Ch chat, I, I hate it. Did it- did it get in? It's certainly trying. I can't grab it. Go. Leave this place. Feels good. Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems online. Okay, the colors on this thing suck. suck a little less now, I'm not sure. Okay, so the first thing we have is engine efficiency. That's good. And I'm going to bring the Tingler aboard. Pretty cool. I mean, you can't fucking see it, but you can, you know, make out the stripe at least. Tingle loves docking, you say? Tell me more about Tingle liking docking. Vinny, why don't you ever carry a flashlight? I, I literally always bring a flashlight in this game. I just don't always use it. See? I'll use it. Eventually. Decoy loading to man, Cyclops got really, really upgraded. Let's do, do we do life pod too? Or is that just a remnant of something that I didn't get? Food. Oh, I didn't bring food with me. You're right. I have to cook some on the way. Um, so... I'm heading to Life Pod 2. I think I did this already. But I guess we'll just head there anyway and see what happens. I did. I definitely did. Okay, so then... How about we do this? Instead of having a goal... Why don't we just pick a direction, and just see what happens?
plants on sub. Oh man. That's a lot of extra effort. Wait, there's alien, haha. -ha. There's scum base, okay. Plants fabricator, more storage, radio med fabricator. Yeah, I mean, it is a base away from home. It's probably worth it to have all of that stuff. I remember when I last played this. Yeah. That's exactly what I did. I also had a portable power cell charger, so I could have infinite, um, infinite charging, but they got, they kind of got rid of that, didn't they? Okay, Thalassophobia, here we go. I think the depth module upgrade that I got, um, MK3 for this. It's cool, but it's not like the best thing ever, because this ship is too big for certain deep areas, so you may as well just take the tingler down there. go into the void? I don't know what that means. So you, you definitely need the thing then that I was talking about. The depth module upgrade. Fair enough. I think this mission will be just to explore, see whatever the fuck is out there. And then, from there, I'm turning my lights off, of course. And then from there, collect some materials, start building a prawn. What the hell is that? What is this? What is it? It's going through my sub! Morning. External hull damage detected. Reverse. Reverse! There's two of them! What do I do? What do I- oh my god. Oh my god. Shit's on fire, yo. Oh, 
Where? Where? I think I want to be out here. Okay. What in the name of Christ did that to my Cyclops? And I was just about to read what an ecological dead zone was. I have to check that out in the PDA. And then scan it because it looks beautiful. Good. I think we're good. They keep you from getting off the map. <laughs> that explains a lot. All systems online. Told you we were going to use the flashlight. I need to read up on that for a second. Uh, also, what's, what's the hull looking like? Hull strength. Uh, where's that information? 94% power. So I have a lot of power, I just don't know. Oh, here it is. I think we're good. We're, we're full hull. Good as new. Alright, great. That was fucking insane, especially considering the amount of shit you have to do to save your submarine. Which is I, I something I'm not used to. Okay, okay. Alright, I had just a couple of mini heart attacks there, but we're good. Um, what would this be under? Ecological dead zone, I want to read about that. I guess geological data, maybe? Geological, geological scans of this area show a steep decline in all directions. The data is consistent with the theory that the aurora crashed on the edge of a two kilometer by two kilometer volcanic crater. It has likely been millennia since the eruption reached the surface, encouraging the ecosystem within the crashed crater to flourish. The ecology of the trench surrounding the crater supports only two kinds of life, microscopic and leviathan class. Exploration is ill-advised. So that was a ghost leviathan, eh? My Cyclops is now Sweden. There we go. 
That's right, I'm from Sweden, yes, 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 yes. That's cool. Oh boy, oh, what a mess. Oh god, what a mess. So, here's these things, the fucking Striders. Their footsteps were scaring me while I was in the Cyclops, but... They're not really very harmful. for a minute. I'm gonna be very careful about where I go. This is the edge of the map right here. Conducting a, a survey, a geological survey, and an ecological survey. Why not? What could be out here that's so dangerous? Nothing. It's a ghost reaper. It's not even alive. I fear nothing. <laughs> Except everything that looks anything remotely like that ghost reaper. the bottom. This is definitely outside the map. Warning. Maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. Warning. Creature attack. I did it again. I done did it again. And I don't know where land is. The fuck? Yep, I know. I know. Okay, I think that's I think that's enough heart attacks for one day. Oh fucking! How many warpers live here? There's no fire this time, but I have some work that I need to do. Come on, repair. God damn it. not immediately repairing some of these spots. It's also dark as sin. Let's see. Oh, here's a spot. Can't use the repair tool and the flashlight at the same time.
pretty much like beamed. I think, I think we're good again. No leaks. No leaks detected. Let's not do that again. Let's not go outside the uh, map again. Yeah, just gonna not go outside the uh, the map area or the crater or whatever the fuck it is ever again. Okay, this time I'm going to find new and interesting areas that exist within the map's boundaries. Can't see anything. Ch oh! Chat, I don't, I don't know where I'm going. This is fine. Emergency halt failure imminent. Abandon ship. This is fine. I'm good. Where's the Aurora? I'm going down with the ship. Wow. That sucked. Totally fucking destroyed by a ghost. Yeah, I'm gonna scum that. I'm sorry. That was awful. I thought I was going in the right direction. I was like, it was really hard to see. <laughs> but I don't even care. I don't even care. It's fine. I deserve that. I just want a Ghost Reaper to destroy me. I want a Ghost Reaper to chew my brain, killing me instantly. That would be fantastic. Okay, now where the fuck am I? This appears to be... I don't know what this is. This is a giant underwater cave. Um, this is this is right on the edge. Is this before I change the color? right color. Uh, oh wait, the base, no. It's like that-ish. Name goes like that. Stripe 2 will do yellow. That's good. Okay, let, me, let me back this up a bit and then we'll check out that cave. Let 
me just sound the horn, just in case any ghost leviathans want to come out and play. It's kind of, again, it's really hard to know which... Even with the compass, I wasn't paying attention to the compass, so I didn't know what the fuck direction I was going in. It just... Sucked all around, but, um... I think... I think this will be safe here. It'll probably be just fine. Let's go into the cave. I don't think you can kill a ghost leviathan. It's implicit in their name that they may in fact be dead already. That's my theory on the ghost leviathan. You can! Wait a minute, you really can? One day I will do that. Or try to. 350 knife stabs? Oh, that's fine. I can manage. Okay, so it's these fuckers again. Water would have been the best thing for me to get or bring with me. But I could use a couple of extra rubies. I ran out. I may never need rubies again, but they look nice. Wow, that was still. I'm still reeling from what just happened. <laughs> Swimming like further out, seeing nothing, and then Ghost Leviathan. Fuck that. reach the end of the cave. Desert, you can't eat a ghost leviathan. Come on. How could you eat a ghost leviathan? It's made out of the same substance as the spectral assassin that I have in, in uh, Skyrim. It's just like ectoplasmic goo. Sure is a whole lot of nothing here. One second, guys. I just- I have some, uh, Ghost Leviathan. I wanna try it out. Hang on. 
Mm. It tastes like, um, what's that shit? Fluffernutter? What's that? It's like, um, like a, cre a creamy stuff. Is that what it's called? Fluffernutter? No, not Nutella. Marshmallow fluff, yes. It's marshmallow fluff, that's what it tastes like. It's not calorie mate. It's it's um I'm not eating calorie mate again. Listen, I was more than happy to do the taste test experiment, but there is no way I'm going to eat calorie mate unless it's the only thing I have in my house and I'm starving. This is just I'm just eating nut. Nut. <laughs> It's triple chocolate brownie. That's what it is. And um, I feel the diabetes approaching strong. Firm. So the good news about these brownies is that I made them, and then uh, tomorrow I can give them out. I don't have to keep them in my house. I ate a couple earlier, and I had like a quarter of one just now. Why again? I don't know. I was at the supermarket and I saw it, right? And I was like... Hmm. Those brownies. I think I ate too many last time. And then I thought to myself, wait a minute, yes. Make them again, Vinny. Yes, make them again. Detecting multiple Leviathan class life forms in the region. Are you what? certain whatever you're doing is worth it? What are you talking about? Fucking stream. I need to I need to do the silent running more often, yeah, because this is this is just insanity. This is insanity. I can't I can't be dealing with these fucking reapers. I also need to make some decoys, I think, because they just keep nibbling at my scum clops as testicles and it's getting really annoying. I okay. Alright. First order of business. Decoys. But we're all good. Decoys are worthless. Oh, shit. They aren't. <clears throat> I don't have radar. I don't have a lot of things. Like, this is my first Cyclops experience of this patch, of this first release of the game. So there's a lot that I don't have. Maybe that's something I should work on today. 
now that I've seen how terribly wrong things can go. Maybe it would be a good idea for me to start upgrading my Cyclops a bit. Look at the right for the radar. Okay, yeah, this is definitely the wrong way. You know how I know it's the wrong way? The land ran out. biomes again. Okay, here's something. Massive mushrooms. I haven't seen these yet, this playthrough. Or maybe I did. In any case, I didn't spend too much time in massive mushroom biome. I'm a little paranoid, though. Everything I see... Yeah, I've been here. Just briefly. Everything I see makes me paranoid. Rick for Simon, run. spend some time down here and explore a little bit. And it is a very extensive biome. Here's this stuff again. Oh yeah. Hello darkness, my old friend. Someone said this is where I built my base in. Brave soul. Much braver than I. Powering down. So, just for exploration purposes, I will be taking a look around and uh, maybe trying to find an egg. Hmm. All right, crab squid. Fucking crab skunt. Here's the thing. Let's see. Anything of use? I wonder. I might have all this shit already. So this might be... This might be pointless. Modification station, I have that. Power cell charger fragment, I have that. Lots of stuff. some power cell charging. I might have to bring power cells back to my fucking sub. Oh, I 
can't get through that, can I? No. Not even with a laser cutter. Yeah, this wreck seems kind of pointless for where I am in the game at the moment. Seek fluid intake. Mm -hmm. And that's the other thing. I am also dying of thirst. Oh wait! Stuff! What is this? Seahorses? No. I need that stuff that allows me to drink my own pee. H how does one level up in such a way that you can drink your own pee? into your mouth, I guess. That's helpful, thank you. Now I know. Information acquired. Okay, there's a lot more to this than I thought there would be. Let me, let me get some oxygen. You know how much I love to give the chat mini heart attacks, but I don't think I want to do that to you right now. So I need to breathe and drink. Where, um... Where does the character poop? I wonder if there's just like a little release valve. Like you just press the button and it's just like... Blueprints. Is it illegal to poop in the ocean? I, I've run out of things. I've been streaming too much. I don't have anything left to say. So my question is, is it illegal to poop in the ocean? Because if you think about it, it's- it's natural. You know, like, can you fine a dolphin for taking a shit in the ocean? No. How are they gonna find out? I know that, but if they do find out... Seek fluid intake immediately. Okay, fluid intake immediately. Immediate. Let's get over there and... I was kind of hoping to find eggs for these, these cool looking things, but... That might take a little bit more work. Pop-in is much better since I moved the install to my SSD, so... I know there's some pop-in... You know, pop-in... But it's not too bad. Could be worse.
I really need to eat some water. Just happened. I think they spawned in each other. Warning engine overheat ahead standard. Warning vessel calculating excessive noise. And you have to deal with a lot of horse shit. You're a Cyclops, Captain. The urge to backseat game is incredible. Yeah, people want to tell me how to play, and I don't mind. I mean, it's it's helpful at times, but then there's stuff that I just want to do for my own, you know, my own fun. If it's okay, maybe I like running into Ghost Leviathans three times in a row. Maybe that's fun for me. Oh, I have enough power to get back. I'm not worried about that. I'm just wondering if I'm going to have enough energy, or as soon as I spill out of the submarine, will I be totally dead yacht? Okay, it's happening. It's happening. I need to eat something. Oh, I need to eat something and, and fast. Um, or rather drink something. Thirst. This is a mighty thirst. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Cool noise. Five H two O. Creep vine. I mean, it'll do. I could just drink the vine. Hang on. There isn't much vine to drink. Oh, I can't eat these. Oh, God damn it. Maybe I should just take my sea moth for a ride. As in, you know, attempt to survive. Get back to my home. Oh, fuck off. Uh, let's see. Here's that survival part. We just witnessed horror. This is the survival. Um. Eat. On tonight's Subnautica stream, we get nothing productive done. The vine sadly only provides one HP, so it's kind of... It's kind of shitty. Okay, let's see. I can do this. I hit flank. Emergency speed. Morning. Vessel calculated. Excessive noise. I can do this. I can make it back. The head's down. I don't even know. What kind of life forms I'm killing right now? Life forms. 
you tiny little life for oh, I do not need another fire. Ah. Emergency speed. Getting closer. Warning. Engine. Moving ahead is now. Warning. Cyclops on fire. Rig for Simon running. And home. Did you did you just see what I saw? Engine powering down. I have to remember to do that. Every time. We're going to charge some power cells and then. I'm going to find another destination. Preferably a destination that does not have Reaper Leviathans. You're still here? You're still here? Welcome aboard, Captain. Nope. Not, not killing me today. Not fucking today. Vital signs stabilizing. It is done. We're back. I'm healthy. Still have some of my sanity. I hope. Get to drink some Bulbo. <laughs> and, uh, we're good. Wow. What a motherfucking day. Vinny, plant some trees in your Cyclops. That's a good idea. That is a good idea, isn't it? Um, Lantern and Bulbo, I think, would be the best bets. So, I'm gonna do that. I'm also going to um, bring some more titanium with me so I can build other vital and essential things. Okay, first thing I need to do, which I can't do on the Cyclops, is build a fucking... can't believe they fixed this. I mean, it's smart that they did, but I gotta build a power cell charger. So that gives me reason to come back to my base once the scum clops is out. Advanced wiring kit and ruby. So, two ruby. And we build advanced wiring kit. Wiring kit, gold, computer chip. Jesus. Silver. That's why I really heavily considered using that mod that allows you to build from your boxes so you don't have to keep going back and forth. Vinny, you have so much shit and yet you refuse to make a few solar panels. I have three solar panels. What are you, what are you talking about? That's un... How are sol solar panels related to my stuff in my boxes? 
What do you mean, Gov? What do you mean, Gov? More solar panels. I got nuclear power now, son. I'm channeling... Like, sp atom splitting. You think this is a fucking joke? <laughs> do, do you? Or I'll stop laughing if it's not a joke, but... Solar is cleaner. I mean, yeah, but... The dude's survival is at stake here. There's no Mickey Mouse bullshit, God! I can only build one for now, but at some point I'd like to... ...double up on that. Um... I also... I'm gonna head back to the... ...Cyclops now. I'm gonna build a... ...fabricator. Some other important materials. What's stopping you from getting the base-wide inventory mod? Um... Just... ...being a purist, I suppose, playing the game... ...as is? I, I don't know, really. I mean... There's a couple people in chat opposed to it, but not too many. Captain. All systems online. So, this might be a good place to build some stuff. Let's start with the... Never mind, we're gonna start with some planters. We'll do trees, bulbo, and fruit. Bulbo and fruit. Uh, the marble melons kind of annoy me. They're, they're, let's just say they're high maintenance fruits. Don't use any mods. Yeah, I figured. I need computer chip, fiber mesh, silver ore. And I also need... Table coral. So, I'm gonna build a couple vital things. This needs to happen. I know that the building aspect is probably less fun than me getting... ...nibbled on... ...by a Reaper Leviathan. Also... ...Hoop... ...Mot the Hoople, the floaty fish, is still around. That warms my fucking bitter heart. I love it. And, uh... Let's take some of the materials. Table coral. And, of course, if I want to build... ...this, I need fiber mesh, silver ore. I have a little bit of silver ore. I'm actually running out of silver ore. Fiber mesh... Fiber... Just creep vine sample times two. I got some of that. I might have fiber mesh in one of my boxes, but I, I actually don't care to look right now. That's nice. Easy. E Z. Uh, okay. And then I think it was computer chip, which is. As you know, it's more table coral, gold, copper wire. Table coral. Good thing I brought a fuckload of table coral back with me that day. Gold, copper wire. I'm running out of. Okay, I've got plenty of gold. Table coral, gold, copper wire. Oh, look, it's the fisheye emote. I see it now. The word mesh makes me uncomfortable. What other words? What chat? What words make you uncomfortable? I want to hear from you. 
just for curiosity's sake, do you have any words that upset you or, I mean... They're just words. The word penis, girth, moist, a lot of people, I think moist is a, a classically uncomfortable word for a lot of people. Queef? But it sounds like, the word queef kind of sounds like a pillowy breath of lilacs. It's the act of queef that is uncomfortable. Someone said calling metal rock. That's not a word. But metal has its roots in rock. I mean, I get what you're saying. It's, it, yeah, I mean, sure. Scrum bingo makes you uncomfortable. <laughs> I tried to play that cool, but man, that's funny. Spine? It's an interesting word to be uncomfortable. Some materials. Uh, chat, anything else that's, like, essential that I should be looking into? I I'm gonna start, um, building a couple upgrades for this, by the way. But, um... What other essentials? So, I got some food. Um, I've got... Medicine. Um... Some lockers. Well, there's... there's lockers. Storage and a bed. Well, there's storage down here. I don't really know if I... I need a bed, necessarily, and I got plenty of storage. Build a prawn. I think that's gonna be next stream, I would say. Because this stream was about the Cyclops. Next stream will be prawn, I think. Decorate the place a bit. I'll consider it. Maybe when we do a longer stream of Subnut, I'll have uh, a little bit of decoration going on. Maybe a vending machine? Oh, here's the thing I can do. Since I have nuclear power now, you know what word makes me uncomfortable? Nuclear. I should build some power cells. Let's see if I can do that. Power cell. I need silicone rubber. Silicone rubber. Do those grow back? If you pluck a few off the vine? I wonder. We're building a dildo. <laughs> Seeds, yes. Vine, no. Okay. You hate the word turgid? It, it kind of just sounds like a fish to me. I think it reminds me of the word sturgeon, so it doesn't really bother me. But I'd say it also is a weird word, like I don't... Um, I don't immediately associate it with what it means. 
Someone said Cunny. Yeah, that's a pretty that's a pretty bad one. I don't, I don't know. Even yeah, yeah, that one kind of sucks a bit, doesn't it? I'm like, yeah, yeah, this this is bad. The uncomfortable word thing. Just just the way the word sounds. Kring makes me uncomfortable. Clussy. <laughs> What's wrong with the word clussy? Alright, there's a lot wrong with it. You know it, I know it. So I wonder what would be prawn suit. I don't have um Cyclops specific upgrades. How do I get those? Do I have to find those? Oh, it's this, there's some here. There's the depth modules. It's inside the submarine. You make them in the su oh. Okay. Okay, well I guess I'm going to have to bring some ingredients with me. Let's You know what? Let's just see what's available. Let's just jump right into it. One more power cell, and then I have a full charge. The word schedule makes you uncomfortable? Or is it the alternate pronunciation? Schedule. Shield generator. Engine efficiency. We've got one of those. Depth module. Which I'm not going to worry about just yet. Um, sonar we don't have yet. Docking bay repair module. Repairs vehicles docked within the Cyclops. That's interesting. Fire suppression system. Decoy tube upgrade. I don't even know how you build decoys yet. Thermal reactor. Converts environmental heat energy into electrical power for use by the Cyclops. I don't have kyanite. I don't know what that is. I think the shield generator might be a good one to start with. Thermal reactor sounds like fun for later on. Fire suppression, I don't I don't have the ability to do that just yet. Sonar, I don't know how to build. I don't have the um, required ingredients. So there's probably a lot more there. Um Copper wire, let's bring the copper wire, and I'm going to bring advanced wiring kit and polyaniline. Copper wire, advanced wiring kit, polyaniline. I might not be able to build that stuff because I'm running out of materials. So, there he is, Wilfred. Just stay the fuck away from my base, and we cool. It knows. It knows to stay away. The shield is a waste. It eats your battery completely in about 30 seconds. Is that an exaggeration, chat? Or is, is this... Invisible... Fake person that's just a name on an internet chat room. None of you are real. You know that, right? You're just like code. We're all just code. It's an exaggeration. You don't have to keep it up, though. Trains fast. Um, I 
I didn't mean to be harsh about the invisible people thing, but... Just an observation over the years. I think it's just stream and chat and maybe even going back a whole layer about, you know, like maybe life itself is kind of just a hallucination. Or it's an illusory experience that we're all sharing collectively and we can interact with each other through the use of very impressive holographics technology. I've been trying to figure that out for a long time. But, you know, then again, I've been lemoning real hard lately, so... You know. You do what you can. Get those lemons in your system and you just fucking trip balls all day. Alright, so I need, um... I think I have extra polyaniline. I do. And I need... This. I'll build the shield, but I don't think I'm gonna use it much. Computer chip. I've had to build so many stupid things today. And the last of the table coral goes to the computer chip. Almost the last of the table coral. Fuck Star Wars. Yeah, yeah, the, it, the shield will be used in emergency situations only, like against a Reaper Leviathan or against myself. Trust no one. Energy efficiency? Can, I, can you stack energy efficiency? Online. Oh, look at that. I forgot to do the docking repair. That's not as essential. Did I not just bring a power cell with me? The fuck? In when is bedtime? Um, soon. 15, 20 minutes. Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems online. Just want to do a little bit more outside of my base. Just a little bit more. Welcome aboard, Captain. Vinny, I've been procrastinating cramming for a quiz at ten. I'm listen, you you know me, I'm usually kind of uh, stoic. What's the word I'm looking for? I'm looking for the um unfazed by such things. But, if I really stop and think about it, I'm kind of flattered that you would choose to procrastinate, procra sorry, procrastinate your assignments to watch my streams? Like, why would you do that? I don't know. But I guess thanks. Also, do your fucking homework, man. Moistened? No, that was not the word I was looking for, no. Cyclops efficiency module does not stack. The prawn sea moth ones do. Okay, procrastinate. That's interesting. Is that that's got to be on Urban Dictionary? Guaranteed procrastinate is on there. Yep, first link. Delay or postpone action and masturbate instead. Put off doing something and have a wank. Roger wanted to mow the lawn this afternoon, but procrastinated a couple of times, and now he has a sore wrist. Hand to gland combat. <laughs> oh. Hand to gland combat ruins lives.
that laugh that I just did was pretty much, then I don't need a jacket. Pretty much everywhere, it's gonna be hot. Shut up. Then I don't need a jacket. <laughs> Thanks, Arthur. Thanks, Arthur. Talking about vintage memes, man. We brought some vintage memes today. Like, between um, that and some of the stuff we were talking about in Deep Rock Horizon. Really though, where the fuck was my power cell? I, I had extra power cells. I specifically built extra power cells. I'll build one more then. Um, I have one more battery here. I vine blinded. Consumed. How does one consume? You were looking right at one? Was I? Qu quasi. Battery. Mini scump. Not in the food. That's what you said last time. Yeah, I, listen, man. 3 a.m. Oh, there it is. I'm good at this. I'm good at, I'm good at things. So now I'm gonna put this battery in here and forget about it and then ask the same question in about four days. Alright, um... Bring the wiring, and then we'll go on a little underwater adventure. I'm probably not going to bring the Cyclops because it's just too... It's just too much work right now. And if we're going to go for a quick underwater adventure, it might be best to... be light on one's feet. You know, like in Skyrim, when the guards are like, Ah! Light armor! Light on your feet! Good job! Hey, you with the thieves killed armor. Don't go stealing anything around the city, please. I need a repair tool. What the fuck did I do with my repair tool? It's just gone! I can't, I can't. I can't take a, an underwater adventure without a repair tool. You made the repair module with it? You can do that? Oh! I wasn't paying attention. Good for me. I should be streaming games like Pong. I think that's more my speed. Wouldn't you agree? I think I need some lubricants. I need that. And a little... Tits. Titanium. Cave sulfur is what I needed, actually. I didn't need the lubricant. My mind went yellow, and I chose lubricant instead of sulfur. Okay, I have what I need now. We can take the Tingler. Just anywhere, really. Um, how about I go this way?
even though this was kind of a disaster, I'd still say we got a couple things done. Base renovations or upgrades, uh, some upgrades for the ship. We got some, uh, well, we, we clenched our anuses together collectively. Uh, what else? Found a couple materials and stuff. That's about it. Goddamn biome again. I'm wondering. I'm just going to go this way. Oh my god, you can do that? <laughs> wow! <laughs> yeah, I've never seen that one before. Abort mission? Can't abort now. Why do you want me to abort the mission? Hey boy. I know we've had our differences. But why don't you come and have some beer? No way, man. I'm underage, man. Hey, boy. Come on. Take a load off with your old man. No, I don't know, homie. You're gonna turn him into an alcoholic, homie. That can't get any worse than me! Level <laughs> scans show a nearby opening, leading to a biome with extensive fossilized remains. Like that? That was a good, uh, that's my Simpsons voices. Turns out I can only do one Simpson voice, and that's Barney. That's it. Just, just one. Look at this, we found something very interesting here. Sensors indicate. Research probes. Prominence in the facing of these alien devices suggests that there's some kind of probe or sensor. Their subject would seem to be the vast skeleton in the center of the cavern, the attached cable network may lead to a remote power station, or data hub. Mr. Burns is solid. Are they saying boo? Or boo earns? And that's like 3am, Mr. Burns. Earlier in the day, Mr. Burns could be even better, maybe. <laughs> Maybe. I remember one time on stream I did a good homer. One time in my life have I done a decent homer. The skeleton of a million year old 
armored carn uh, carnivore. Projections suggest this life form would have been larger than any living creature encountered on the planet. The oceans of the time would have been vastly different to support life forms of this size, with more open geography and many more individuals in the Leviathan range. Like, I'm a bit of a Simpsons poser. Like, I never really was obsessed. But... You know, I enjoy it. I've had, um, plenty of episodes that I've seen that I've enjoyed. I just never, like, followed through. So here's the power station. Just brought one of those tablets with me. Maybe I'll just always keep a tablet. Oh, I need, uh, yellow. I have yellow. If I'm going to do two storage, I should probably carry, like, two beacons, you know, tablets. I should just carry a bunch of useful things, maybe some water, just in case. I just wanted to see what it looked like. I've never seen this before. It's pretty cool. Just to help you get- if you get lost. Another thing to carry would probably be, um, a couple of extra power cells. I mean, I have 91 power still. So that's pretty amazing. I could- make this trip ten times, but still. So yeah, this is the, um, the Lost River, right? And, uh, I remember this is generally where the North Left incident, we'll call it, we'll call it the incident happened. It was still a very underdeveloped area. When I was last here. I remember getting so frustrated, I was just like, yeah, yeah, I'll play this again in like a year or two. I'm glad I took a break. Huh. Hey, Joe Bell. It's actually quite night here, but good morning to you. And, uh... Um, you're just in time to watch me... ...fucking get murdered by poison gas. Trying to hunt for some food, man. It's another thing I want to bring. Oh, you're talking about the Hazy Maze Cave? Yeah, fuck that level. 
I believe that's where you can go into very many PUs because there happens to be that particular enemy that can take you into the PUs. So yes, two health kits, some food, some water, power cells, tablets. I mean, I can just store an entire storage section with emergency materials. But then again, at some point... At some point, kind of soon... I'm going to be using the, the um, prawn. Warpers have arrived. You recover health better if you have uh, full health or food. Forty-four food on the Reginald. Hot damn. Jellyfish are bizarre. That's an interesting observation, Desert. <laughs> but I agree. They're the closest thing to alien life you can get on planet Earth. That's probably not even true. I'm sure there's there's plenty of other life forms that are just so unlike what we see on a daily basis and what we're used to, but... In a broad, general sense, when I think jellyfish, I think aliens. Deep sea fish are, are fascinating and really fucking weird and... Even squids, man. Fucking squids. And they're smart. Or is it just the octopus that is smart, not squid specifically? Octopus and not squid. Who's smarter, chat? Is it is it octopus, me, or squids? It's the octopus and cuttlefish. Some har someone in chat just said some horses are smarter than humans. Yeah, if horses are so smart, how come there isn't horses too? I'm sorry, that's just an easy meme. Um, oh. Yeah. Indicate this biome contains unusually high concentrations of organic and fossilized remains. I was gonna say, if if horses are so smart, how come they can't talk? Um, and also, how come they're called horses and not horse horses? Horse. Welcome aboard, Captain. My lights are off. I'm gonna play this very, very safe. Spinefish, huh? Discovered. That thing just looks wrong. What is that? That is a ghost leviathan up close.
the hell did I just get? Oh, man. Um, I want to read about it. Okay, the f I'm gonna have a heart attack. The fossilized remains of an extinct super predator. Its sheer size... Its sheer size would have prohibited it from entering such an enclosed space, suggesting the geography of the planet has shifted around it over time. A true apex predator. Three million years old. Rib cage measures... Measurements suggest the creature was eel-like in structure. Calculations suggest that this is only the front third of the specimen. The remains now support a vibrant microcosm of life. Note there are a series of precise angular indentations on the ribcage, suggesting that a third party has taken samples from the specimen at a previous time. Pray for me, chat. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. gonna play a little bit more since I'm in an interesting area. Warning emergency power only oxygen production offline. Stasis rifle, yes, I remember this I remember the stasis rifle. Are these babies? But what the fuck are these? River Prowler. This is a new one. Come on. Come on. Welcome aboard, Captain. to be anything of interest on there. Mesmer? Christ! Happened to that mesmer? It just like got bit by an invisible thing. You popped it. Go look at it. I think it's I think it's fucking dead.
All right. It's a hypnofish. Warning. Emergency power only. Oxygen production offline. And I have to get the scan of one of these again. Good as any. Remind me to stay the fuck away from the Mesmer, please. I see what you did there, chat. I'll be honest, that was pretty good. Good japes. Good japes. Hoping for like an egg of something. I want to take some of this stuff back to my alien containment. Okay, I'm just gonna head down this way and uh, then we'll probably save in here. This is the part of the game that I love the most, the exploration. Seeing all these new life forms. Getting the shit scared out of me. Burning alive. Finding more interesting fossils. Wow, they really fleshed this place out. <laughs> Need a prawn suit. Yep. I do. This- this whole area... Wow. This whole area is made for the prawn suit. I just happen to have the sea moth's um, depth upgrade, which gets me close enough. That seems that seems interesting. Get some table coral. You saw table coral. I like table coral. I'm running out. There's the alien stuff. Sea dragon skeleton. Semi-intact skeletal structure of a Leviathan-class predator. Head trauma. There is clear evidence of massively physical... Massive physical trauma to the head. The damage is so severe it was likely the cause of death. 
must have occurred somewhere nearby. Damage is consistent with high-speed collision with a solid object. Age. Something in the environment has helped to preserve these remains, but calcium decay suggests an approximate time of death 1,000 years ago. Bone growth suggests the creature was in the egg-laying stage of its life cycle. Read the Mesmer log. Uh, next time. Here it is. Here's that, that wacky tree. Looks way more awesome. It's the Ifa tree from Final Fantasy IX. Vast tree encountered in deep cave, deep cove, the only one of its kind encountered on this planet. Tree is surrounded by rays gazing on its grazing on its pink outer leaves. Bark, hardy, fast growing bark covers the outside of the tree. Minuscule organisms inhabit the notches in the surface. Ghost leviathan eggs. The tree's branches are wrapped around a number of maturing eggs belonging to the species designated ghost leviathan. This tree appears to be an ancient nesting ground. The eggs were laid when the tree was young, and now the branches protect and help grow with them as they await the right conditions to hatch. Well, it's beautiful. It's ancient. We've got to burn it. It must be destroyed. Um, is there nothing I can do with this tree? It's just... like, kind of decoration and scanning purposes. Not really. It's pretty. Could build a base down here. At a depth of 900 meters down. Base goes here. Good luck finding any fucking materials. I will. I will do it. There will be a base there. At some point in this playthrough, there will be a base in this area. There's lots of materials here. Oh, I guess you need the, um... The prawn to harvest the materials. Oh, fucker went fast. Oh yeah, there are a lot of materials down here in the blue fog. There is water at the bottom of the ocean! Remove water! You've got enough materials down here for, um... the nuclear power. You've got deep shrooms for whatever they make, I forgot. Um... And again, there's plenty of things to mine with the prawn. Fucking prawn. Some sandstone for gold and miscellaneous materials. Yeah, this would be a great place for a base. Just because it's fun. Not- not because you need a base down here, but because why not? I didn't scan the ghost leviathan. I scanned the ghost rays. But, um... Warning. Maximum depth reached. 
Maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. Yeah, this is as far as the sea moth go. So the prawn would be the main tool, and then everything else would probably... Um, you could get the sea moth down here and just park it. Getting a cyclops down here would be a fucking nightmare. Pro Maybe it's possible. I would not try. Don't know if there's... Yeah, there's even more stuff down that way. That's as far as we can go. You know, it'd be cool. Maybe this is like a little too game-breaking. But... Teleporters. So you could teleport between one base and another. Maybe it takes like an astronomical amount of power. Welcome aboard, Captain. Oh god, I shouldn't have read the chat. God damn it. Let's save. Let's double save. Right, well, we'll get there when we get there, but for now... Um... That was actually a really great way to end the stream. The Lost River is now even more beautiful. And... I look forward to building a base down there, even if it's a very small one. And I look forward to... Um... Exploring further. And, and unlocking the mysteries of Sea Christ.